Hey there. I want to tell you about a blog post that I read years ago that really changed my perspective on things. It was about a 15 year old girl who became homeless in Kenya, one of the worst slums in the world. She'd been passed around for a while from house to house, eventually on the streets and pregnant. She eventually was able to deliver her baby alone. And as she was starving, she sold her baby. And I think it goes without saying that the kind of people that buy babies from desperate young teenage girls are probably not the kind of people that are going to treat that baby well. I used to get letters from a girl who, at 15, was already the mother of a three-year-old. At 12, she had been passed around her village like a piece of garbage and finally was connected with Mercy House and was rescued while she was still pregnant. And you know what? Her letters weren't about feeling sorry for herself. There's no identity in, as being a victim. She was so hopeful. She was hopeful for her future because she was getting an education. She wanted to work and she was developing vocational skills. There's more stories. There's a girl who was rescued this year, another 12 year old who had been raped and was pregnant. And she was rescued and brought into Mercy House less than a week before she went into premature labor. She was rescued when she did because of very generous people who donated during their She Is Priceless campaign. The doctor said that if she had not been where she was getting the medical care that she received, both her and her baby would have died during the labor. There's other stories of girls that didn't even know they were pregnant until they were in labor. A young girl feeding her baby, dropping bits of water from a dirty rag because she didn't know that her breasts gave milk, had no concept of nursing. Today, Mercy House is celebrating the rescue of 50 miracle babies. And they are trying to raise $50,000 so they can rescue more in 2020. It's the baby's lives, it's the mother's lives who often are still children themselves. I would really, really appreciate it if you would join me in supporting this mission where they're taking girls out of the worst situations in the world and filling them full of hope. Some of the most beautiful, joyful looking girls you've ever seen. We could learn so much from them. The link's in the description box. It's Giving Tuesday, guys. No amount is too small. Please join me and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.